Hello and welcome to my page at Erin Kent Art. This is a tutorial for some mushrooms. The colors in my palette today are Brilliant Red, Raw Umber, Payne's Gray, Sap Green, Peach, Zinc White, Yellow Medium, and Yellow Okra. We'll begin painting the mushroom tops with Brilliant Red. You can create your shape and adjust as you go. Take some of the raw umber and drop it in on that right corner and along the bottom edge of your mushroom cap.
Here we are adding in our second mushroom cap, again working that shape as we go, and again adding some brown to create your shadows on the mushroom. Here I'm adding in the third mushroom cap and it is going to be low to the ground and close to the base of my first mushroom. It's time to add more layers on top of the mushroom caps. We're gonna go in, back in with some brown to darken that shadow and then go back in with more red too.
Now it's time to make the color for the mushroom stock and I'm going to be using peach, Payne's gray, and a touch of yellow ochre at the end to create this color. As you're painting the shape of the top part of the stock, you'll want to create a little bit of a wavy skirt on it. And when you paint the second part of your mushroom stock, you will leave a tiny gap between that eventually will fill in. To fill in the shape, I am not using any color. I'm just using water and I'm using the paint that I laid down to draw the outline of it to fill in. Now you can start adding in some more color to shade and darken where you'll have some shadows.
Now it's time to get a little more dramatic with our shading and shadows by adding in Payne's Gray to this mushroom stock color we've made. Now I'll create some shadows with Payne's Gray underneath the mushrooms. Next it's time to work on our snail shell color. So we're gonna take some yellow okra and some of the brown, the raw umber, and mix those together. 
and create a nice color for their shell. You might not be able to see what I'm doing, and so I'll explain. I'm creating a small spiral shape that I will turn into my snail shell. It went down really light, so I decided to add a couple more layers on top of what I'd painted to make it darker. Now I'm ready to create the color for my snails. They're gonna be uh, a mixture of this peach tone and some yellow.
Now it's time to go back in for a second layer over the shadows on the mushroom stalks. Now we're ready to work on the background, but first you need to tape your page down. This will help prevent it from buckling while the background is wet. As we are working in this background, we're gonna start with a wet surface and then build on drier layers as we go.
Now we're ready to put in some color. We'll use our flat brush to create some strokes that look like grass in the background. Remember, grass is not always straight up and down. You'll want to make sure you have variations of direction and curvature in your grass. You'll want to start adding in different colors like some yellow. You can create different shades of green by mixing in Payne's gray or brown or even red and brown. You can get a lot of different variations in your background if you want. I'm mostly sticking to shades of green and yellow. Continue to fill in the background with strokes and then at a certain point you can kind of just take a little light green or yellow tone on your brush to fill in the white gaps.
Okay, we'll let the background dry for now until we are ready to do our final layers on it. Let's move on to the moss underneath the mushrooms. We'll start out by wetting this area, including the panes gray that we've already laid down for our shading. Once fully wet, start tapping in your green. If any of the areas on your page are too wet and starting to puddle, you can use your brush as a mop to remove that excess liquid. I'm gonna add in some darker layers by using brown and a mixture of green to create different strokes in the background.
Okay, I'm satisfied with this background. I feel like we're getting a lot of these white spaces filled in and we can just let it fully dry before that very final and last layer. Here I'm going in with an extra layer on top of the snail bodies. Here's my favorite part of the whole painting. We're gonna use this white to paint on the specks on top of the mushroom caps. I am using a number four flat brush. I am using the corner and the flat edge of the brush to create these shapes. Okay, I'm ready to get a little more detailed on my snails. And by doing that, I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm gonna fill in the white gaps that we left in that spiral on their shell. And I'm going to also take a brown on the tip of my number six round brush to create a little shadow underneath their bodies.
You can create a darker tone of the snail shell color by adding more of the brown, and you can go back over to define those shapes. It's time to go back in with our final layer on the background grass. We are going to use a number four flat brush to create these final strokes of grass blades.
We're going to go back in with another layer over the moss. I'll be adding in more of the green, Payne's gray, and yellow. Now we're going to take our number six round and get some of the Payne's gray on the very tip of your brush and you will go back in over the white dots or specks and you will put a shadow underneath each one. This takes a little bit of time and focus but trust me the effect is so worth it in the end. Now that you have finished adding in your little shadows underneath your white specks, you're going to go back to your white with your flat brush 
and you're going to go back over all of it with another layer of white and you can blend in a little bit of the gray to the white. Okay, now you want to take a look at your painting and decide if there are any details that you need to make adjustments to or add.
This is going to wrap up our tutorial today and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please follow me at Erin Kent Art here on YouTube. You can also find me on all social media sites under the same handle. And you can visit my website, ErinKentArt.com.